Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Baldur's Gate 3. We are in the steel foundry where they make the um, steel watch. We are trying to destroy it. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we are going with this guy here, Xanner, and he knows how to blow it up. So we're trying to take him deeper into uh, the foundry to do it. We rescued one set of Gandians and failed to rescue a second set of Gandians. Um, we are running a little low on our spell slots. We are down to five spell slots total for our cleric, three and two. We did a short rest, so Will is Will is full up on his slots. Still alive. And then of course us and Starian have no spell slots, so let's see what's beyond. Apprehended beginning interrogation. A brain is talking. Your mind whirls as the brain, swimming with parasitic juices, connects with yours. With a jerk, your mind is transported. You look down, your body of pure steel and power whirring. A dwarf cowers before you. Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll, I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mom's life. Just let me go! Attempt to wrest control of the Steel Watcher and spare the dwarf. DC 25. Okay, not not the best odds here. Yet yeah, we failed miserably. We are not going to waste an inspiration on that. You struggle against the parasite, but can only watch as you raise a mighty leg. What? What are you doing? No! Please! You stomp on the dwarf. Bones and intestines splashing on you. All right, that was brutal. Let's let's not do that anymore. Open up. Wait. Elevator gyroscopes. Triple set quadrupeds. No. It can't be. What is it? What's wrong? I hear it through the floor. Powerful, indestructible. The ultimate watcher. The Titan. Indestructible. We'll see about that. It shames me to admit this, but you must face this beast of Gondian folly alone. I would be crushed in an instant. When it raises its shields, Strike it with every scrap of magic and might you possess, and pray to God that it does not fire upon you. Good luck, my friend. All right, that sounds horrible. All right, well, let's go see what we got. All's well that ends, not as bad as it could have. I wonder if the gods are watching me. We got a Hellfire Watcher. Hellfire Watcher. Hellfire Watcher. Big giant ball of something. Registering red. I wonder if there's a chance we can just activate one at a time here. Oh, and there's another one. Nope, we cannot activate them one at a time.
Oh, that's the Titan. Let's take a quick examination of it here. 369 hit points, that's a lot. Resistant to non-magical attacks. Good thing we all have magic weapons. Vulnerable to lightning. We're not much in the way of lightning. Uh, psychic immunity, poison immunity, dark vision, immutable S existence. Cannot be removed from this plane of existence, so we can't banish it. Or alter it. It's form. So no polymorphing either. It's advantage on saving throws against magic. Uh, Multi-attack, prone, restrain, or maimed. So it multi-attacks against prone, maimed, or restrained creatures. It's opportunity attack, and it is the, can't be surprised. It's the perfect sentinel. Well, let's start beating on the big guy. Does extra radiant damage. Good hit. Almost like whack a mole, except it doesn't go down. Oh, 20 points on that. That was a great shot there, Starion. Uh, let's pull you over to here a little bit. Still breathing, despite everything. Cut it to the chase. <laughs> Let's do defensive. This guy's got 221 hit points left. We've done a pretty good job so far. Let's end this. Um, I don't want to save her spells for when its shields go up. Nine percent, forty-five percent. So this is slightly better. There we go. It worked. Yay! Onward. Battle favors the fearless. Uh, let's go ahead and hex him. Well, we've just stripped off what? That's um, 180 basically, almost half. Got an extra 75 hit points. That's lovely. This threatened defensive protocol bulwark. While in this defensive state, the Steel Watcher becomes unyielding and can use its repair matrix, Hellfire missiles, and repelling protocol. Hellfire missiles? That doesn't sound good. I'm assuming that's what this red circle is all about. 
Only attacks dealing at least 15 da points of damage can harm the Steel Watcher because of the uh, unyielding construct. And at the start of its first turn, restorative servos can heal 3 to 24 points of damage. That's not good either. All right. Well, let's see if this does extra Radiant. Does a little extra Psychic, which won't do anything, but the Radiant will. There we go. That took down a good chunk. Pinned down while this thing's shooting missiles does not. Oh, we still move. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, we need some extra damaging arrows here. Well, he's not a fiend, so that's not going to do it. He's not a dragon. Darkness. He's not a spellcaster. A little bit of acid might help. Fire, ice, lightning. That'll do it. Because they're vulnerable to lightning. Missed with the shot. That's not good. Can we do it again? Nope. That sucked. That was our big shot there. Let's see if we can at least get some sneak attack damage on this guy. There we go. That was a good shot. He got a four bonus hit points. I was like, I'm going to do a little bit of damage to something, so we're not going to do any damage there. And then, of course, we didn't do squat. I wonder if this is worth the cost. So our punches do 11 to 21, so not a ton of damage. That's what favors the fearless. These do 6 to 15, which, of course, is not much. to 864. I wonder if that will get rid of the shield. There's 8d8. All we have to do is four points of damage to him. He's going to have a bonus on his saving throw. Does 10 to 60. Oh, I'm going to catch one of the two of them. So let's go back to a star end. Move him a little bit. This is my time. There we go. Good job, Will. And you need to drink a potion because you are beat up. I miss this. Nothing important is ever easy. All right. Um, flurry of blows, push. Flurry of blows, topple. Flurry of blows, stagger. Just hit it. Um, do we just hit it? Let's see, 
me stagger it. That didn't do near as much damage as I thought, did it? No, it did 14 points of damage. That was terrible. Oh, so we hit twice. Okay, so it did 14, 18, so it uh, did 27. Okay, better than I thought it was going to. Not as much as I wanted to, because it did barely over its minimum. Well, that was it. That, that, that. Oh, there we go. Missed. Great. Ah, we're weeding it down. Can't give up. Need to throw a heal yet. Did stagger it. Oh, back to its bulwark. That's good. Repelled us a bunch. Hurt its own guys. Oh, it even hit a star in way over there. Didn't do much damage. Alright, so we can fly back over. Ah, let's hit this time. There we go. Do 24 to it. Ow. Threatened. Let's try another lightning arrow. Where were they? This one here? Yep. I missed with it again! With that sucks. We are not doing good with those lightning arrows. He's got eleven left. Big. We get both these guys with it. Did we do anything? Watcher took nothing because we rolled terrible. Well, bollocks. On the victor's path. All right, Will. Can't target constructs with light. Ah, oh, well, that sucked. Kona cold it again. Can't shocking grass because we don't have the range. Alright, that got it out of its. out of its funk Shut there. Cut and run. We got him down to 80. Let's see if we can finish him off this turn. 
19, good shot, Astarian, though you missed with every one of your lightning arrows. It easy these days. Ugh, time for some blood. Oh, he missed. Ah, oh, so close. Can't afford to let up. Oh, detonation impending. Probably don't want to be around it. It's gonna detonate in two turns, so we got time to get away. Pick one of these Hellfire guys to start on. Uh, how about this one? Critical hit even. Nice shot, Mr. Deva. him down so close to his exploding time. Expecting much there. Favors the fearless. All right, let's. I know it can regenerate from here still, right? Can it still heal from here? It does not appear so. Just in time. case it can. Let's bone chill Okay, now we know it can't heal. Okay, you're going to try to blow up. Unlike the others, it doesn't give us a circle. These boots are seen everywhere. Ready. Yeah, 
I wasn't expecting anything there. ready to explode. Ah, oh, you bastard. My time's running out. Ah, oh, Will is still well, I was two hit points left. Way to go, Will. Well, so much for peace. No time for mercy. Might be able to get out. better about ourselves. Celestial Haste. It's a longbow. Nobody we have is proficient in a longbow. That's in our front line. It is time. Let us end this. buddy. The Neurositor. I can hear its hum. Familiar, yet painful. I helped design the Steel Watchers, toiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the steel watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Are you ready, my friend? What are you going to do? Like the foundry, the Neurositor's exterior is near impossible to penetrate. However, its inner circuitry is highly unstable. I'm going to rain fire upon it from the inside out. Do it. Gond, let your hammer be my courage, your furnace 
my heart. <laughs> Digging noise, run! behind us the sound is as sweet as a well-oiled cog yet we paid the price in blood so few of us remain Gon's name will soon fade into the annals of history I must leave now and gather those of us still standing look after this city my friend I pray it treats you better than it did us Yeah, we didn't uh, save too many of them. All right, well, we just blew up the foundry. Two journal updates. Let's take a look at our journal. Duke Ravenguard has been rescued. We should speak to him in our camp. Rescued Raven Guard. We should speak with him in our camp. Grand Duke is safe at light. We should speak to. I think they want us to speak to him in our camp. Grand Duke Raven Guard is grateful for saving the Absolutes. He will stand by our side in the final battle. Nine Fingers. We can count on her in our final battle. The Gur. We are sure to have them on our side. Dame Aelin, uh, the Asmar angel chick we saved long ago. Mizora. Strange creature we helped in the uh, in the enter the city. So we got a few. Destroyed the Steel Watch Foundry. It's Orin instructed. We were going to do that whether she instructed or not, so I don't count her as instructing us to do anything. She seems to enjoy infiltrating our camp and leaving messages for us there. Maybe that's where we'll find further instructions. Uh, we have completed disabling the Steel Watch Foundry. Despite Gortash's warning, we docked the Iron Throne. True to his words, Gortash triggered the mechanism activated. Uh, the bargain is no more. Okay. Weeding through these things. Well, we should head to camp. We are beat up badly. We've got no more short rests. We've got almost no spell slots. And Duke Ravenguard wants to talk to us. Uh, there's just a, a letter there. Okay, let's read this. Letter with sticky red blots. Another letter from Orin. Thanks to you, the tyrant's iron throne lies broken beneath the bay, and the prisoners it held are nothing but blood in the foam. Fishermen will be finding succulent morsels of gnome flesh to decorate their dishes for years to come. No, they won't. We rescued all but, what, two of them. You sow the seeds of chaos well. How the sheep bleat to watch their gilded guardians crash to the cobbles. They tremble to see the lordling's temple of tyranny crumble atop their corpses. The time is now. Without his mindless mannequins, Gortash is weak. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! 
The rest of the page is filled with the same scrawled instruction written increasingly in eligible script. At the bottom, a signature in blood, Oren. All right, they don't want to talk. Carlac doesn't feel like talking. Um, yeah, we should have time to talk to Dad. There's the Albert. I was like, where's our Albert? First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster, twisted beyond recognition, to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city. To chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. We'll call the parasite. Connect with father and son. Ravenguard should know the truth. Ravenguard's tadpole clenches. As your memories and wills flow into him. My tears wounds. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mazora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the Astral Prism, and the Emperor within. Will. Everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. It's the truth, Raven Guard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate, and I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fires so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but... My duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Go on. Do I want to go on? Yep, go on. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Elturel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. What lessons do you mean? Courage, insight, strategy, justice. I remember them well. You made me recite them every morning. So you do. And I thought you'd abandoned them. 
more fool me. The worm goes by many names. Answer, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened, but just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now. The Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The Worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The Legend of Ansur. An ancient epic, ill-remembered, dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Would you rather wake the dragon yourself? The legend has it that Ansur will only answer to a proven hero of the city. Until a moment ago, I thought that was me. But is he who rejects his own child a hero? What of he who calls his brave son a monster? You showed me the truth. You showed me that I was the one who turned his back. You showed me that Will may be the future of Baldur's Gate, and well beyond it. Will, what do you make of this? Baldur's Gate stands on the brink of the abyss. My father was clear. We awaken the worm and take back the city. Will. You are more valorous than Bolder and himself. May the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravengard. Pride of Baldur's Gate. Okay. Duke Ravengard told Will the only way to save Baldur's Gate from the Absolute Scourge is to awaken a powerful worm called Ansur, who sleeps under the city. A tome called The Legend of Ansur is the key to finding the entrance to the worm's lair. We retrieved the book and should read it. Okay, we rescued from the Absolute. He'll make a powerful ally. Kill Gortash with Steel Watch destroyed and Gortash vulnerable. Orin left us a message with a clear directive. Kill Gortash. Well, we were going to do that anyway. So again, it's not like she's giving us directions. Will wants to talk and we are running up against time. So we're going to call it here. We'll talk to Will starting next time. So thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate that. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. That is also appreciated. I am Sir Joseph. You guys are amazing. Until next time, stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you later.